Auto Sheets now has some new functionalities. Check it out. First off, we have the Get Spreadsheet action, which allows me to get several properties from the sheet uh, based on, on the input. In this case, I want to get the ID of a spreadsheet with this name, Auto Sheets. So I can use the ID in uh, other actions later. So after that, we have the Get Cell action. This action looks for a value in a single cell on the sheet and then outputs with the name I choose. In this case, it looks for, the, in, this, in this sheet here, it looks for uh, in the column A, and it looks for the text location, which is this one here. And then it gets the value on the column B corresponding to that, that, to that uh, location. So it gets this value this one right here and then outputs this in a variable called location and let's run these three actions just to check it out and there you go it says ho away if I uh, update this to home for example and run and run these actions again and now it says home so this is a good way to shared data between um, between various devices. You can get the same data synced on all your devices. Then you also have the update cells uh, action that can update a single cell or more based on these inputs. So again, we'll look for the column A. Look Now this time we're looking for the the row where it says boot, boot time and then we're updating column B for that row and we're updating with the data time and additionally we use a new mode called tasker time which automatically parses time and makes it compatible with Google Sheets so if, you, if we run all these actions now it first gets the location and then updates, updates the time to the current time and as you can see it's a normal Google Sheets time and not just some text. So uh, the other Google Sheet, the other Auto Sheets actions also have some new options, so you can check them out. And hope you enjoyed it. Bye.